In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Launch Control XL to control the Ultranova. We're going to build a template in the Launch Control XL editor by referencing the Ultranova MIDI implementation guide. To use the Launch Control XL with Ultranova, we need to create a template with the editor and reference the Ultranova's MIDI implementation guide. I'm going to show you how to map a few controls and you can take this as far as you want to. First, we need to download the editor and the implementation guide from www.novationmusic.com. Click on Support and select Downloads. Choose the Launch Control XL from the drop-down list, locate the editor and download it. Now we need to select the Ultranova from the drop-down list, scroll down and the MIDI implementation chart is here. Once the editor has downloaded, double click the DMG and run the application. So this is the editor. You can click on any component on the Launch Control Excel and change its values here. You can save and load templates from the device, reset the Launch Control Excel template, or save and load from a file. By clicking on Show Values, it reveals the values assigned to every single component of the Launch Control XL. So I'm going to assign MIDI values for Oscillator 1 in this colour red and Oscillator 2 in this colour yellow. I'm going to click on the first component, in this case the rotary, and I'm going to assign the waveform to it. So I click here and change that to 19. Then on this rotary, I want to change this to 20. It's already assigned there, so I'm gonna leave it. And this rotary here, and this rotary, I want to assign hardness, which is 23. I'm gonna change the tune in sense here, so 27. and pitch here, 28. And on this fader, I want to select the filter one frequency here, 74. And on this fader here, I want to adjust the filter resonance, which is 71. Now I want to assign the same parameters of oscillator 2 to the same rotaries, so I'll do that quickly. And I'm going to assign the same filter controls to these. Now obviously I've done this quite quickly to demonstrate the Launch Control XL editor, but you can take as long as you want and save your templates and load them as you wish. So now that I've created this, I'm going to save the template and then I'm going to click on save so it saves it to the device. I want to overwrite user template one and you'll see the LEDs update. So now I'm done with my computer so I'm going to move this to one side. So we've got rid of our computer and now we need to connect the launch control Excel to the Ultranova. To do this, I'm using a Kenton MIDI USB host box. You can buy these from all good music tech stores or buy them online. So all I need to do is plug the power supply into the back of the Kenton, then plug the Launch Control XL via USB into the USB input, and take a MIDI cable out of the box and plug this into the Ultranova. We're now set up and ready to go. So here's a quick demonstration using my Launch Control XL template I just made with the Ultranova. Thank <laughs> you. 
So there you have it, controlling the Ultranova with the Launch Control XL. Thanks for watching.